However, despite the miles-long queue, several MPs have been skipping the queue in Westminster Hall to visit Queen's Coffin. A House of Commons spokesperson confirmed that members of Parliament can view the Queen's Coffin without having to queue for miles, and can also bring up to four guests. Parliamentary House staff can also avoid the line, which was around 3. 5 miles long at 11 a.m. according to the Department for Digital, Culture, Media, and Sport, and have been offered one guest ticket each. Criticizing the act, journalist Dominique Samuels told GB News, I think it's completely wrong thing to do. It was supposed to be about national unity with the Queen passing instead it creates the impression that these politicians are far too above the common people that are far too good to queue up with them. It begs the question of would they be paying their respects? The panelist spoke about the MPs skipping the queue to see the Queen's coffin. Image, GB News, several MPs have been slammed for skipping the queue in Westminster Hall to visit Queen's coffin. Image, Getty Images, it meant if they had to queue, the answer would be probably no for some of them. I think it just shows that a lot of our politicians do prefer to be the servants of the people when really they are only servants of themselves in the perks they can get. I suppose that's one of the many flaws of being human but it's always the one attracted to the jobs of politics that behave like that. This morning, former Prime Minister Theresa May joined thousands of mourners paying respect to the Queen lying in state in Westminster Hall. Read more, emergency services rush to reports of city center building collapse Labour's deputy leader Angela Rayner was another MP who took advantage of the opportunity to dodge the queue on Thursday surely this one of those moments when the politicians should be with the public. London Assembly member Sean Bally said, I am going to come down in the middle of this. MPs, they have a job, they are representing us and I do believe it's important that they go and see the Queen lying in state, see how important it is to the people of the country, feel the atmosphere, I do think it will help them to make decisions slightly better. I think MPs miss out an important thing if they are not in the queue because by standing in the queue you get a range of beliefs, a range of ideas and an opportunity to interface in the public in a unique and historic way that won't happen again. Don't miss Camilla praised for her support of King Charles' tensions erupt as Harry and Meghan furious over children's titles Victoria Cross and George Cross holder to attend Queen's funeral thousands have been lining up along the South Bank in Waterloo with their waterproof jackets, image, Getty Images, this morning. Former Prime Minister Theresa May joined thousands of mourners paying respect, image, Getty Images, trending thousands have been lining up along the South Bank in Waterloo with their waterproof jackets and cups of coffee before entering Westminster Hall to bid farewell to the Queen. However, author Amy Nicholl had a different outlook to the incident. She said, I am not as outraged as you are. What we have learned from this conversation is that the queue is the place to be and so if anything, they are absolutely missing out. The experience of the queue is the best part. What I would think about is that the MPs who are going to queue, basically, I wouldn't really want my MP to have the time to queue for 12 hours. I think there are possibly more pressing things going on in the country at the moment. What I found offensive about this wasn't the fact that the MPs got fast-tracked, I mean that's kind of understandable considering their place of work. However, it was the fact that the other staff the cleaners and the other parts of the parliament didn't get fast-tracked. 